In many businesses, it's common for senior executives to receive email summary reports. For example, it might be a daily sales report or a daily cash position report. And often these reports contain images which have to be copied and pasted from Excel. Well, actually, with our current cloud technologies, we can automate this entire process, including getting the images from Excel. So that's what we're looking at in this video. How can we use Office Scripts and Power Automate to automatically save or send images from Excel? So if you're ready, let's get started. In this video, we're looking at how we can get images from three different object types. So first of all, how we can get an image of a range. Secondly, how we can get an image of a chart. Thirdly, how can we get an image of a picture or a shape or even a group of shapes? We'll be demonstrating this with three examples in Power Automate. We're looking at how we can save that image, how we can send that image via email, and how we can move that image to another workbook. Now, even though we have three object types and three methods in Power Automate, we can actually mix and match these as we want. Therefore, there's lots of different scenarios that we can use here. And throughout this video, this is the example file that we shall be using. So let's get started by looking at our Office script. So to view my Office script, I'm going to come up and click on the Automate tab. And here I have an Office script already prepared. You might want to click New Script and then copy and paste the code we're about to go through into your new script. So I'll open up the code editor and then click edit so we can see the code. At the top of our script, we have the main function. This accepts four arguments. It has the workbook that we want to get the image from, the worksheet name that we want to get the image from, the object type, and that's whether it's a range, a chart, or a shape, and then the object name. So if it's a range, it might be cells A1 to D10, or if it's a chart, it might be called chart one, for example. In the next section of code, we declare the variables that we're going to be using. We start by stating what our worksheet is. So it uses the worksheet name that's passed in the function, and that's how we know what WS is as our worksheet. We then declare three outputs, and we'll be looking at those in a few moments time. The next piece of code looks at the object type. And if that type is the word range, it then uses the get range method and then get image from that range. However, if that object is a chart, it uses the get chart method and then the get image from that chart. If that object is a shape, it uses the get shape method and then it uses get image as base 64. And we've declared that we want the PNG image format. And in all those scenarios, it returns the value back to a variable called base64. And what this variable holds is a text string which represents the image. So the image is converted into a text string, which is in a base64 format. So the letters in that string can be converted back to an image at a later point. So that's our base64 variable. Now for some uses in Power Automate, we need to declare what type of image it is as well. So we've also got this variable called base64img, which adds on the image type and then declares that base64 text value. So for some uses in Power Automate, we just need the base64 variable, and sometimes we need the base64img variable. Now, if we want to use this image in an email body, and that email body is set up in a HTML format, then we've got this variable called base64 img html, which automatically includes the HTML tags, so we can use this inside an email. And then finally, these three values are then returned back to Power Automate. So this is the Office script that we're using, whether it's a range, a chart, or a shape. And no matter which use we're applying it to in Power Automate, we have our three return types so that we can just use this single script. Okay, now let's head over into Power Automate and see how we can use this Office script to save an image. For our first example, we're going to take an image from Excel and then save it to a folder in OneDrive. 
This would also work with SharePoint too. So I'll start by creating a flow. And for this, we're going to use an instant cloud flow. I'll call this save Excel image and then select a manual trigger, then click create. So the first step that we want to add is to run a script. So in here, I'll type script and that's found this run script option. So I'll click on that and now we need to navigate to the workbook that we want to run our script on. So it's in OneDrive for Business. My document library is OneDrive and the file. Let me navigate to that. OK, I've navigated to my file, so I'll now select that. And now I get to select the script that I want to run. Well, in Excel, I saved my script as PA get image from Excel. So let's select that script within Power Automate. Now we can see the variables that we set up. So the first variable was the workbook. Well, that's declared here in the file. The second variable we want is our worksheet name. Now in our example, our worksheet is called sheet one. We then want the object type. Well, for this first example, let's use this range here. So it's a range from D3 to H5. So my object type is a range and the name is D3 colon H5. Then I can add a new step. I'll search for a create file step. You can see it there, OneDrive for Business, create file, and I'll select that. I now need to navigate to the folder where I want the file to be saved. So now I've navigated to the folder that I want to save my image in. I'll select that folder. And the file name that I'm going to call it is savedimage.png. And the last argument here is the file content. Now what's being passed from the Office script is a base64 version of that image. So it's been converted into a text string. However, to save a file, that needs to be a binary file, which means we need to convert our base64 image back to a binary file. So I'm going to click on expression, and then I'm going to use the data URI to binary function data URI to binary. I'll select that, press tab, and then I'll open the bracket. So what do I want to convert to binary? Well, I've got my dynamic content here. I'm going to scroll down and select my base 64 IMG. Then I can click OK. So that will convert that text string back to a binary file and then save it as saved image inside this folder. So I'll click save on that. And now let's test this flow to see if it works. I'll go to test, manually, test. So because I've set this flow up, it's checking for permissions for my connectors and I'll click continue and then run flow. Okay, my flow's running, it took eight seconds. So let's come and have a look inside this folder. There we go, the image appears. And now I'll select that image and I'll zoom in slightly and you can see that that is an image of the range that we copied from Excel. In our second example, we're looking at how we can send the image via an email. And we're going to look at this in two ways. First of all, how we can embed the image inside the body of the email. And secondly, how can we send the image as an attachment to the email? I've already set up a flow it's called send Excel image and I've connected to my same workbook and I've opened up my same script. And let's say that this time we want to send a chart and this chart is called chart one. So back to my flow, my object type is a chart and its name is chart space one. And now I'm going to add a new step and I'll search for the word email and here we can see send an email v2 using Office 365 Outlook. So I'll select that. OK, let's create our email. I'll enter the email address in here. And then my subject will be sending image from Excel. 
So my email message might be, hi, Dave, please find below the daily sales chart, which is also attached. Thanks, Mark. Okay, now we just need to insert our image. Now, because our script already has a version that includes the HTML tags, from the dynamic content section, we can select base 64 IMG HTML. So that will now insert that image when we run this flow. Now let's see how we can attach an image. So I'll come to show advanced options and we have these attachment settings. So I've got to give my attachment a name, call it daily sales.png. And then I need to get the content. And here we use the same method as we used for example one. So it's going to be an expression. And this is going to be based on the same function as before. So data URI to binary, open the bracket and select the dynamic content. And I want the base 64 IMG. Then I can click OK and then save. Right, now let's test this flow. I'll go to test manually, save and test. And then run flow. There we go, our flow has run successfully. Let's just head over into our emails and see whether this has been sent. Okay, I've opened up this image and you can see it here. Hi Dave, please find below the daily sales chart which is also attached. So there's the image which is embedded and we have an attachment as well. If I open that up, you can see that that is the same chart. So using this Office script and Power Automate, we can also embed images and attach images to emails. Now there's one caveat to this method, and that is that while Outlook is happy to work with base 64 encoded images, some other email providers such as Gmail aren't. So while we can attach the images to any email, if we want to send the email to a Gmail account, we can't embed the image in this way. There are some really complicated workarounds, but we're not covering any of those in this video. In this third example, we're looking at how we can get an image from Excel and then move that image across to another workbook. So I've set up my flow in the same way and I've selected the run script action. So again, I'm gonna work with the same workbook, but this time we're going to use this picture, which is called picture one. So the object type is a shape. And it was called picture one. So I've got a script that extracts the image from a workbook. I now need a script that will paste the image into another workbook. I've got this script here. I'll click edit so we can see the code. So this script accepts four arguments. First of all, we have the workbook that we want to paste the image into. And then we have a variable called base64. This is the text string that we passed from our first Office script. Next, we have our worksheet name. This is the worksheet that we're pasting the image to. And then finally, we've got image name. This is what we want to call our image. We start by declaring which worksheet we're using. Then using that worksheet, we use the add image method. And the add image takes the base64 variable. So that is the text string of the image that is transferred from the first Office script. So that will add the image to the worksheet. And then finally, we name the image. And that's so if we want to make any more changes to this image later, such as resizing it or moving its location, we know what the name is so we can easily do that. And I've saved this script as PA paste image in Excel. Okay, let's head back into Power Automate and let's add a new script. So I'll search for script, and then we have run script as an action. And now I need to find the location of the workbook that I want to paste the image into. So again, this is in OneDrive for Business. I'll just navigate to the correct folder. So here I've got the workbook that I want to paste my image into. It's called pasteimage.xlsx. I'll select that, and then I get to select the script that I want to run. So this was paste image in Excel. 
That then opens up to show me the parameters that we set for this script. So if you remember, the first parameter was the workbook. So that's defined there as the file. We then have the base 64. Well, this is a value that's returned from our original script. So I'll select base 64 as the return value. My worksheet name will be sheet one. And then the image name I'll call my image. Okay, I'll click save on that. Right, let's see if this will run. So I've got my paste image workbook. There's currently no images in there. I'll come back to Power Automate and I'll go to test manually. Test that again. I'll accept all of these options and now our flow is running. Fantastic, it ran in eight seconds. There's no errors there. When I come to the paste image workbook, we just need to wait for the servers to sync. Look at that, fantastic. Our image has now been pasted into this workbook. Well, that's it for this video. We've seen that we can capture images from three different object types in Excel, and then we can use them in three different ways using Power Automate. So we can combine these in any way that we like. And actually, we've only looked at the image element in this video. We can also capture dynamic text and other elements. So we can really customize these emails and automate this entire process. If you like this video and think you'd like to automate Excel in more ways, then why not head over to our training academy at excelofthegrid.com forward slash academy. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.